Hewer going to go back to throw the ball. Sets up, looks, throws toward the corner of the end zone. It is intercepted! Intercepted! The Ducks have the ball! Down to the 35, the 40! Kenny Wayton's going to score! Kenny Wayton is going to score! The one thing that I remember more than anything actually is these were the days of no autofocus, shooting film, and thinking, I sure hope I have that in focus it's because you had to snap focus from where the quarterback was to where the catch was happening. And that really is the most important thing is, you know, if it's not in focus, it's not usable. Um, and that was, I was just happy when we got back and it was actually <laughs> exposed properly and in focus because that would have been not a good thing to not have a picture of that. I just couldn't believe how fast it happened. I mean, all of a sudden, Kenny Wheaton's running down the sideline towards us. And I realized that he had the ball, and I started jumping up and down because I knew he was going to finish in the end zone for us. I just remember being in his arms and then him jumping up, and he had those big binoculars. I don't, I don't know what they're made out of, but I just, when he jumped up, they came up and hit me in the mouth and cut my lip, and I remember <laughs> bleeding, and I, you know, that's my memory of the pig. And what I remember is it happening, and then it was kind of just, you know, Jerry Allen's call is so memorable that, that Kenny Wheaton's going to score. I didn't, I didn't hear that because the place was so loud. And I have headphones on, as you can see. But I remember Hickey and I took off down the field kind of after. Everybody did. If you remember, the, most of the bench went into the end zone. And, and so it was just kind of literally pandemonium at that point. It was a great moment. And to have a small part of it um, kind of frozen in history, it's really cool. For years, I would go to football games with my dad, and he would always say that Huskies would always beat us on some funny little fluky turnover and win the game and take it away from us. And so this game obviously went our way, and we, did, we had the fluky turnover that won the game. I do recall the next morning thinking, wow, you know, I was right there where he was running by, and I opened your paper and saw the picture. I couldn't believe it scanning the picture, which I've done on every face in the picture, agony on the one side and, and, and joy on the other, um, you see true emotion and the human element of sport and why it's so special to us all. And where else you, in, in daily life, close a business meeting and a deal and, and jump in the air like that? It doesn't happen. It takes an event and a moment like this in sports, and that's why I've been so blessed to be involved in sports most of my adult life. The thing that's interesting about the pick to me is, yes, Kenny Wheaton is running the ball down the sidelines, but it is the people in the background reacting. It's the people from the Washington fans to the Oregon fans jumping up and down, reacting. The other thing I love about the picture is everybody is in that moment. You know, no phones, no distractions, and people wearing jeans and t-shirts, like, not like today we wear green or today we wear black. It's very much a throwback to an era, and I think that's part of the thing that I love about the picture is that it shows a different time and it just shows pure joy, but also for the Washington fans it shows their dejection as well.